today? It was good. I feel like it was better than it was better than yesterday. I feel like yesterday we were slacking, um, and just this, just from a fundamental and um, a concept standpoint. But today was a lot better. Overall, how's uh, how's camp gone for you? Uh, personally, me, I feel like this has probably been my best fall camp since I've been in college, honestly, uh, just because I have a better understanding of the playbook and um, the way we run the offense. What, what do you think led to that? Just the experience, the reps? Uh, maturity, just maturing. And I, I feel like last year I didn't do as well as I wanted to at the receiver standpoint. And that's just due to me not being in the playbook as much as I should. But uh, I feel like I took full responsibility in learning it, and I feel like I'm way better. What kind of role do you see for yourself in UTSA's offense this year? Uh, honestly, I just want to help in any way that I can, whether it's from my receiver or returner standpoint. You talked about the playbook a little bit. How have you seen yourself grow in your time at UTSA? Uh, I've grown a lot, actually. Uh, I think it was, I think it was around the time that I first got here. I had I was going through uh, mental battles and and stuff like that and whatnot, and um, I feel like I've just overcome a lot. And uh, like I said, I'm matured, so. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. You mentioned to us, I think, last year about putting too much pressure on yourself at times. How have you kind of managed that? Is that different for you now at this stage in your career? Yeah, I just I feel like I just took a step back and look how I did at this past season. And I, it's, it's football at the end of the day. I put too much pressure on myself just because it was Zakari leaving and I was the, the guy next up. And I felt like I was trying to replicate Z. And I'm, I'm not him and myself, so. Do you set your goals differently now? How do you approach that process? Uh, I don't think I, my goals are different. I just feel like um, I'm getting better at compartmentalizing my goals and just adjusting on the on the fly. I know coming into last year, you told us our, you told us your goal was to start at receiver, and you had that opportunity early in the season, and then uh, had to give it up at some point. How was it like going through that process in the year? It was definitely hard, um, but and I was I was more angry at myself than anything just because that's that's not the game that I played. And I mean, shoot, I mean, the, the guy who took my place was Devin McEwen and I, like, if anybody's gonna take my place, I'd rather it be him just because like, I've known him forever and he had the ability to step up. Are you competitive about getting that kind of a spot back this year or do you look at that any differently? I definitely am most competitive about it, but everybody in the room has the capability of starting. So I mean, everybody is all, on, like I said, in a, in a couple of interviews. Um, everybody in the same room is on the same mission, and everybody can play any position. So, you mentioned up to us in the spring that I think there was an injury situation a little bit for you that impacted last year as well. Was that something that was a factor for you? Mm, not really. I feel like once I got back, I just went back to returning, and I was fine. Chris, what did it mean to get voted into the single digits? It meant it meant a lot, actually. I mean, uh, compared to last year, I mean, I got voted in last year, and things didn't go my way. But I mean, just kept working, and it meant a lot to get voted in going into my senior year um, and it's it's like you realize how much trust that the guys have for you around you so it's like it means a lot for do, sure. you, do you consider yourself one of the leaders in that water most season? definitely I feel like I definitely um, took in the leadership role with Cephas leaving and I feel like it was time for me to, to do that honestly you have some new faces in that room this year. How have you helped those guys get settled in when you talk about that leadership part? Um, I feel like, I mean, I've known JJ personally before, like, before we got into college. So, I mean, with the guys coming in, I feel like um, they've definitely trusted the older guys in the room, like me, JT, and Devin, and da da David Amador. Uh, they definitely trusted us to get them to learn the playbook. So, I mean, they're, they're just in fun. What's your connection to JJ? Uh, we played each other in high school. So, I went to Jacksonville when he went to Pine Tree. And, any time that we played each other in like football or basketball, like I would have to, I would have to be against him. So that was that was that. Where are you on the academic track now? Uh, I'm about to graduate. Actually, I just finished my uh, two summer classes. Uh, I got three classes in the fall, and I graduate in December. What's your major? Multidisciplinary studies. Have you thought about what you want to do? Uh, I've always told myself like not everybody goes to the league, and it's always good to have a backup plan. So I'm glad I'm getting my degree. Um, I got a scholarship in high school that's that's good for some money whenever I get my diploma or, or my degree. But um, if I don't keep playing, I, I want to go to the Air Force. I was gonna I was gonna ask about that. You mentioned that previously to us. You know, why is that still a goal, or why is it something that's intriguing to you? Uh, just because I have family that was in the military, and just because I feel like the Air Force is pretty cool. Honestly, I've always been interested in it. How old's your son now? He is two. He'll be three in December. What's his name? Amari. How's he doing? It's good. I actually took him back the day we had to, the day before we had to report. So yeah, it was kind of hard for me, but yeah.
what's that balance like for you? Is it, is it it's definitely hard, but I feel like I've I managed it compared to where I was whenever I was younger. But um, it's definitely better than what it was for sure. How does that motivate you? Is it something you think about a lot? It definitely motivates me a, a lot, just because we're so far. We've been apart from each other for the longest, and since I've been in college, and since like due to us playing the way we have been playing, like I missed like his first two birthdays, and it's been so hard. But like, I mean. I just keep pushing through for him. Like I'm almost done with school, and it's not like I'm like I said I'm not gonna play forever. So, I mean, I just wanna whenever I I am done, I just wanna spend as much time as I can. You think that's a big part of your maturity? Most definitely, for sure. Um, he spent like I think it was we were still in spring ball, and the week that we finished, Coach Trailer gave me permission to go get him, and we we're still doing school and stuff. So I still whenever I got back, we had finals, but um. Just like him being with me, him spending the whole summer with me, it was like, dang, like, it's like, like, fatherhood is so important just because I've never had, like, a father figure. I've never met my father. So it's like, it's very important for me to just, like, be there for him just because I don't want him to go through the same thing, like, go through the same things through I went through. Um, so. Where did he stay during the season? Uh, he was with me, but anytime that, like, we had stuff to do, I would bring him up here with me and he would just be around the locker room with the guys. What did the role of Coach Trailer and I guess Coach Price play in like being a father figure to you? Uh, I mean, Coach Trailer has known my mom like for the longest, like since uh, she was in high school, and I, I met Coach Trailer whenever he was coaching in Arkansas, and I mean we just had that that connection. Then I think it was like the week of my son day he had got the job at UTSA, and but like I was I was hard headed and stayed with Colorado, but I mean. Um, I feel like me coming here, it just impacted my life and made it better for me, honestly. How much do you get to see your son during the season? Uh, it's rare just because I'm busy with school and, and ball, so it's, it's kind of rare. So he's in East Texas with your Arizona. Family? Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Sounds good. Appreciate cool. you. Appreciate you. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah.